CT Axon 40 Ultra was officially presented today. You can watch a video about it in the description below. Also, along with the Axon 40 Ultra, the ZT Axon 40 Pro was also introduced. Therefore, in this video I would like to talk about its features and first impressions. The ZT Axon 40 Pro is the most recognizable, and I think the most interesting part is the rear camera. It is actually similar to the Axon 30 series, and both use a double ring design. The slight difference is that this time, ZTE did not put all the cameras in the ring, but took out the depth of field lens separately, looking across it, like two big eyes in a small mouth. In terms of size, the ZTE Axon 40 Pro has a body length of 162.9mm, a width of 72.9mm, and a thickness of 8.46mm. On the premise that a large 5000 mAh battery is stuffed inside, the weight is still controlled at a good level of 190 grams. Of course, the advantages and disadvantages of other curved screen phones are also reflected in the ZT Axon 40 Pro. It has an excellent visual sense of luxury and a comfortable left and right sliding experience, but it is also difficult to completely avoid the problem of gray borders and false touches on the edge of the screen. Fortunately, after algorithm processing, it will not affect normal use. ZT Axon 40 Pro will probably use off-screen camera technology. After all, ZTE has already achieved mass production on the Axon 25G as early as 2020. Last year ZTE Axon 35G also adopted this kind of full-screen solution that is widely considered to be the most ideal in the future. In fact, ZTE has indeed been polishing the underscreen camera solution, but it may be due to cost considerations. The new underscreen camera technology is used on the ZTE Axon 40 Ultra, and the ZTE Axon 40 Pro has chosen the current mainstream in the industry. The solution, the aperture of the opening is very small, and due to the curved screen, there is a good visual immersion after the bright screen. The overall quality of this screen is not bad. The new Axon 40 Pro phone is equipped with a 6.67-inch AMOLED flexible curved screen that supports intelligent adjustment from 60Hz to 144Hz and 360Hz touch sampling rate, 100% coverage of the DCI-P3 wide color gamut, 10-bit color depth, a maximum peak brightness of 1000 nits, and a maximum of 3 million by 1 contrast. CT Axon 40 Pro did not use a new generation of the Snapdragon 8 platform or Snapdragon 888, but chose the Snapdragon 870 chip that had a good reputation last year. The storage combination options are relatively rich, with three versions of 8 and 256 gigs, 12 and 256 gigs, 12 and 512 gigs. Everyone is familiar with the Snapdragon 870 chip, so I won't repeat it here. It can probably be understood as Snapdragon 865 Plus, which is currently Qualcomm's best sub-flagship chip. In actuality the ZTE Axon 40 Pro scored 699,797 points in Antutu. The rear camera is a four-camera design of main camera, ultra-wide angle lens, macro lens and depth lens. Among them, the main camera is 108 megapixel, f1.89 aperture, and the sensor size is 11.52 inches. The ultra-wide angle lens is 8 megapixel, f2.2 aperture, 120 degrees field of view. The macro lens and the depth of field lens are both 2 megapixel. The following are real shot samples, without any post-processing. In terms of selfies, the ZT Axon 40 Pro has a 16 megapixel front-facing camera with f2.0 aperture, which supports front-facing night scene selfies. In addition, the three shooting modes of photo, video and portrait have an AI beauty function, providing seven levels of beauty adjustment. Long battery life is a highlight of the ZT Axon 40 Pro. When we talked about weight earlier, we mentioned that this time ZT has equipped it with a large battery with a capacity of 5000 mAh. In addition, the Snapdragon 870 itself has a good power consumption control, as well as a new battery management system. This phone can last a day of normal use without any problem. After increasing the battery capacity, the fast charging solution has also reached 66 watt. The original wire charger can be charged from it can be charged to 78% in 30 minutes, and it takes about 44 minutes to charge to 100%. Seeing this, you may feel more or less that this time, the ZT Axon 40 Pro is actually a product that is meant to be sold. So in addition to the ones we mentioned above, other things such as X-axis linear motor, full-featured NFC, Bluetooth 5.1, Wi-Fi 6, stereo dual speakers. After using this period of time, the overall feeling of CT Axon 40 Pro is relief. Although the performance gap between Snapdragon 870 and Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is objective, but with 144Hz high screen refresh and 5000 mAh large battery is enough to run various applications smoothly. And there is no need to worry about heat dissipation and battery life. Finally, the 8 and 256GB version of the ZT Axon 40 Pro is 2998 yuan, or 
$246. The 12 and 256 gigs version is $32.98 yuan, or $491. And the 12 and 512 gigs version is $37.98 yuan, or $565, which will be officially launched on May 13th. Do you like the new mid-range smartphone from ZTE? Write your opinion in the comments below. I will always be glad to read. Thanks for watching. Good luck and see you soon.